It's a beautiful day for remote learning, a beautiful day for a lesson. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? It's a studently day in this beauty wood, a studently day for a lesson. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? I have always wanted to have a student just like you. I've always wanted to teach in a classroom with you. So let's make the most of this beautiful day. Since we're together, might as well say, would you be mine? Could you be mine? Won't you be my student? Hi everyone, welcome back to Miss Nichols' Neighborhood. It's me, your teacher, Miss Nichols, and I'm here with my best remote teacher helper, my sister Kaylee Nichols. Hi. Hi. Today is very, very exciting. We are learning about a subject that Kaylee loves to work on and that we love to take note of here in the Nickel household. Today, we are learning or starting to learn all about time. <gasps> Yay! I know. Our world runs on time. You constantly see clocks or the time on clocks in our classroom, at home, on phones, on watches. Time is all around us, okay? Today, we are going to start to learn about time. Before we just jump into it, there are some things we need to start learning and knowing about time, okay? Today's lesson, we are going to be working on analog clocks. There are two types of clocks, analog and digital. Today, we are just focusing on analog clocks. Analog clocks have hands that move around the clock. Like this clock right here is another example of an analog clock. It has what we call hands on them. We're going to learn more about those in a little bit. But this is an analog clock, okay? Yeah. has hands on it, numbers, the hands move around it, an analog clock. Let's make sure we feel comfortable by practicing saying analog clock. Ooh. I'm going to say analog, and I'm going to ask that you say analog. Those are all the types of clocks we're working on today. Okay? Ready? Analog. Analog. One more time. Analog. Analog. Good. When you see a clock like this, you know that's an analog clock. Ooh. Good. Now, today we are going to learn how to tell time to the hour. Okay? We have more that we'll have to learn about clocks and telling time. But today we just want to start on telling time to the hour. To be able to do that on an analog clock, we need to meet or get introduced to and learn about the two different hands on the clock. Let me grab our clock again. Right here on an analog clock, we have one, two clock hands. This longer or bigger hand is called the minute hand. Okay? It moves every minute after every 60 seconds. So slower than that. It moves around the clock. And then after 60 minutes, it starts over again for a new hour. I know these are a lot of terms, but just starting to recognize this is the minute hand. Tell us how many minutes or what minute it is. Okay? In today's lesson, the minute hand is going to be pointing up here at the 12. Okay? We'll later learn how the minute hand is actually a secret agent. Okay? Sometimes reading numbers, instead of reading it as a 12, it reads it as something else. The secret agent. Okay? 
But for today's lesson, the minute hand is always going to be pointing up to the 12, meaning it's the start of a new hour. Okay? Then we also have what we call, this is going to help, but I'll put it together, the short hand. See, it's only this long. It's not as long as the longer minute hand. This short hand is called the hour hand. Ooh. Hour hand. This hour hand, after the minute hand moves, 60 minutes, it would take much longer than this. After it moves 60 minutes, it is a new hour, meaning the hour hand will move to the next hour. Okay, I know this is going to be a lot, guys. Whew, take some breath. Let's just start by getting minute hand and hour hand really fresh in our brains, okay? Then we'll explain more about analog clocks. Right here, the long blue hand on this clock, or the long hand on any clock, is called the minute hand. <laughs> minute hand. I'm going to say minute hand, then I want you to say minute hand. Ready? Minute hand. <laughs> minute hand. Again, minute hand. <laughs> minute hand. Good. The minute hand. Can you point to the minute hand, Kaylee? Yes, that long minute hand. If you had a homework, make sure you're following along. Which hand is the minute hand? The long blue one. Okay? It might not be blue in every clock, but it's the long hand is the minute hand. Okay? That minute hand constantly moving around the clock. Each minute it moves around the clock. Once it's gone all the way around the clock, one hour or 60 minutes have passed. Okay? Then down here, well really it can move anywhere after an hour. The short hand, remember, is called the hour hand. Ooh. Hour hand. I'm going to say our hand. Then I'm going to point to you to say our hand. Yeah. Ready? Our hand. Say your face. Our hand. Again, our hand. Say your face. Our hand. Good. After the minute hand has gone all the way around the clock, well, meanwhile, the hour hand slowly moves from one hour to the next. Once the minute hand goes all the way around the clock, you'll see the hour hand has moved from the six to the seven, meaning a whole hour, 60 minutes have passed. Okay? Now, I know it's going to take some time <laughs> to really understand time, okay? Really, the best way to learn it, we're just going to learn it in part, starting with learning it, how to tell the hour. And then I want you to really observe or take note of time around you. Getting comfortable to understand how a fast a minute goes, how 60 minutes is an hour. We're going to continue to learn about that, okay? Yeah. But for right now, we're going to learn how to read a clock. We're just starting with how to read it to the hour. I feel like this was a long intro to get here. I'm sorry. But <laughs> to tell the time of a clock, you start your first step. You look at the hour hand, the short hand. Okay? And you see what number that short hand is pointing to. In today's lesson, I'll be pretty easy because it's always going to be pointing directly at the number. Okay, the big number, what hour it is. So if we look here at this clock, what hour is it, Kaylee? Where is the short hour hand pointing to? Seven. Seven. Good. Seven. Now, the next part, you've looked at the hour hand, found seven. 
Then we have to look at the long minute hand to see where it's pointing. We see that the minute hand is pointing to 12. <gasps> but wait, we do not read this clock as 712. No, no, no. We'll learn more about how the minute hand works as a double agent in future lessons. But today, you need to learn and remember that whenever that long hour hand is pointing directly at that big 12, that means it's the top of the hour, the start of a new hour. When that minute hand, that long minute hand is on 12, we say o'clock. Oh. I know, it's an interesting phase from when people had sun clocks or actual clocks. The o'clock meant I'm reading time from an actual clock. So that's why we still say o'clock. Okay, so we got to put it together. When you're reading the time today, you start with the short hour hand. That short hour hand is pointing to what hour? Okay. Seven. Good. Then, again, we look at the long minute hand. But we see it's pointing to 12. We do not read it as 12. Instead, when it's pointed right there up top at the 12, we say o'clock. Okay? So putting it together, we read it as 7 o'clock. Okay? Really got to get o'clock in your head today. Every time that long minute hand is pointing straight up at the 12, that's when you read the hour, then say o'clock. Okay? Let's pretend 60 minutes goes by. So the minute hand moves, 60 minutes, and it goes once all the way around the clock. Time has passed. Okay? Now we got to check the time again. I see our hour hand has moved. Looking at that short hour hand, what hour is the hour hand pointing to? Eight. Eight. Very good, Kaylee. So it's eight. <gasps> And then we see the long minute hand is pointing straight up at 12. So we need to say o'clock. O'clock. Okay. okay. Make sure you're practicing saying this at home. It's going to make this lesson so much easier for you. You'd read this time as 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock. Okay. Good. Let's try one more practice one before we really look at our lesson. Let's say two hours pass. So once around the clock, second time around the clock. Once again, we st always start with the short hour hand. What number is the hour hand pointing to now? Ten. Good. Then... Second step, look at the minute hand. It's pointing straight up. So what do we say? O'clock. O'clock. Good. Put it together. This time is 10 o'clock. I know. You might be like, it doesn't say o'clock in here. It's one of those things we got to learn to remember. Whenever the hour hand, not the hour hand, our hand pointing to the number, we read the hour. The minute hand pointing straight up, straight up at the 12, we read that minute as o'clock. Okay, hopefully we've had some practice, because we're going to continue to practice now using our lesson on the board. Okay? So, like we just reviewed, our lesson says, the hour hand is shorter. It points to the hour. Yep, we practice that. Right there, that's the shorter hand. It's the hour hand. And it's pointing to what number, Kaylee? Three. Three. Very good. Then it says the minute hand is longer. It points to the minute. 
So there's the longer minute hand pointing straight up at the 12. But what's the special phrase we say when the minute hand is pointing straight up? What do we call it? O'clock. Oh, Good. So we would put the hour and minute hand together to read it as three o'clock. Okay. Very good. And then if we were to write that, it has blank o'clock. So we need to write that three there. Three o'clock. And there we have it. We're telling time. Okay. I know this might be a lot of new concepts. Me and my excitement, I might explain it in like a lot, but remember, short hour hand, long minute hand. Read the hour, then the minute hand pointing straight up, you read it as o'clock. We're going to get tons more practice when we come back with our next few problems. Here we are with our next two problems. Hopefully you're kind of able to see it on the screen, and if not, also put it up here in our big practice box, okay? Let's go ahead, look at the first analog clock, okay? Let's look very carefully at where the hour hand is pointing and where the long minute hand is pointing. Right here, okay? First, we start by looking at where the short hour hand is. Where is that short hour hand pointing? Nine. Nine. Good. So we know it's nine. That's the hour, nine. Now we look at the long minute hand. It's pointing straight up to the 12. But we know that means we have to say a special phrase, special word. When the minute hand's pointing straight up, what do we say? O'clock. O'clock. Good. Let's put the hour and minute hand together. We see it's at nine o'clock. Good. Nine o'clock. Good. So what time is it? Nine o'clock. Very good. Hold that over there. Let me go ahead. We write it right here on our paper, our screen here. Nine. And they already wrote o'clock for us. So we just need to write where that hour hand is pointing. Nine o'clock. Nice job. Okay, let's go ahead. Look at our next problem. I know it kind of cut it off a little bit. I was trying to make the clock big enough for you to see. Okay? Right here, make sure you're looking very carefully at where the hour hand and minute hand are pointing. Okay? There's the hour hand and the minute hand. In case it's hard for you to see there, I also have it here. Let's look very carefully first. Look at the hour hand. What number is the hour hand pointing to? Two. Two. Good. So we know it's two. Then I see the long minute hand is pointing straight up. Oh, so what do we see when the minute hand is pointing straight up? O'clock. Now we put it together. Read the hour, then the special phrase for the minute hand. It's what time? Two o'clock. Okay. Good. Two o'clock. Nice job. So if you were to have that problem on your learning packet, you would just write two, and it already gives us o'clock there. So we just have to write in the missing hour. Two o'clock. Good. Hopefully we're starting to feel more comfortable about it. Remembering, read what the hour is, and then remembering that the long minute hand pointing straight up means we say o'clock. It's the start of the new hour. Yeah. Awesome. Let's get ready for a few more problems. Okay. 
Here's our next two problems. Looking up here at number three, hopefully you kind of see the clock. Kaylee's going to also help hold our practice clock up here. Good. Look where the short hour hand is first. And then look where the longer minute hand is. Okay. Let's start, like we said, by looking at where the short hour hand is pointing. What number is it pointing to? 11. Good. So that, we know what the hour is. It's 11. And then look where the long minute hand is pointing. It's pointing straight up. So what do we say? O'clock. Oh, oh, now put it together. Hour. 11. O'clock. Oh, oh, Good. 11 o'clock. Nice. So then we write that right here on our work. Just had to fill in the blank. 11. Then it already says o'clock. Nice job. We're reading what hour it is or time to hour on analog clock. Let's go ahead, move on to the next one. Get started looking at that clock while I get our practice clock ready. Okay. You have the clock right here, the analog clock with hands and on it, okay? Remember, we first look at the short hour hand. What number, what hour is that short hour hand pointing at? Six. Six. Good. Six. Got to be careful right there, that short hand is six. Now we still see the long hour hand pointing straight up. So what do we say? O'clock. Good. Hopefully we just keep saying it up. We'll get in our head, okay? Put it together. The hour, then the minute. And six. Then what's this? O'clock. O'clock. Good. So then we write that right here. Fill in the blank. It's six. O'clock. Either the time you're making dinner or maybe waking up in the morning. Six o'clock. Nice job practicing writing time and reading time on these analog clocks. We're going to come back with even more problems to practice. Here we are with four more practice problems. Let's keep practicing. Keep getting better and better at reading time to the hour on analog clock. Okay, look up here. Hopefully you're able to see the clock. If not, Kayla and I also have it up here on our clock, okay? Remember, which hand do we look at first? The short hour hand or the long minute hand? Which hand do we look at first? The good, she's signing the short hour hand. Good, if that's what you were saying at home, good job, keep it up. Okay. So look first at where the short hour hand is pointing. Where is it pointing to, Kaylee? One. One, good. One, so I know the hour. Now what about the minute? What do we call it when the long hour hand is pointing straight up? O'clock. O'clock, very good. So now we put it together. Read the time. One o'clock. Okay. Good. One o'clock. Nice. That means right up here, we just fill in the blank, the hour, and have it read one o'clock. I bet you'll get really good and comfortable at seeing that o'clock written out, okay? Nice job. Let's go ahead and start looking at the next problem while I move our practice clock ahead. Okay, start looking at first the hour hand, then the minute hand. Okay, I also have it here in case we need to see it even bigger, okay? Remember, which hand do we start to first look at and start to look at when we read the clock? The short hour hand or long minute hand? Which one? Good, Kaylee. The short hour hand. Okay? So look at the short hour hand. What hour is it pointing to? 
Okay. Eight. Good. Then what do we call it when the minute hand is pointing straight up? Oh, oh, God. Good. Oh, clock. Now we put it together. It reads a o clock. Good. A o clock. Nice job. So then we go ahead and we write that here. Fill in the blank. Have it read a. Then it already wrote it for us. O clock. We had to finish writing it. A o clock. Nice job. We've had so much practice. Let's keep going. Hey, start looking at our next clock. We'll get our practice clock ready to go. Hey, we're looking at our clock. Haley's going to hold up our big practice one, too, if that helps us see it. Good. Okay, first we look at which hand. The short hour hands or long minute hands? What do we look at first? Good, Kaylee, the short hour hand. So let's look at where the short hour hand is. What hour is it pointing to? Four. Good, four, if that's what you're reading at home too. Good job, four. And then what do we call it when the minute hand is sticking straight up, pointing at the 12? What phrase, what special words do we say? Oh, clock. Good. Now put it together. Read it all together. Say the hour and that special phrase for the minute. It's four o'clock. Oh, Good. Four o'clock. Nice job. So then, Kaylee, we would write it here. Four o'clock. We had to finish filling it in, the missing hour. Good job. We know that's four o'clock. Okay, let's try our next problem. Start looking at that clock while we get our practice clock ready. Yes. Okay, this one can be a little tricky, but you just got to do your best. Look very carefully. Here it is on our practice clock, too, if we need it. Okay? Look very carefully. Might be hard to see, but where? It's the short hour hand we look at first. Where is it? Yeah, we look at the short hour hand first. What number is it pointing to? Put up. Very good. It might be hard to see. Maybe there you see the red hand, the short hour hand. But yeah, the short minute hand is just behind there, pointing to 12. <gasps> That's important to know. 12. When we're reading what the short hour hand is, we call 12, 12, okay? 12. And then we go ahead and look at the long minute hand. What do we call it when the long minute hand is pointing straight up? What special word do we say? O'clock. Okay. O'clock. Good. Right here. Now let's put it together. The hour hand is pointing to 12. Then the minute hand. O'clock. Good. So we read it as 12 o'clock. This probably might be the trickiest time to read or maybe the easiest depending on how you remember it. But they're both pointing, both hands are both pointing up at the 12. That means it's 12 o'clock. Remember that our hand when it's pointing to 12, we read it as 12. But the minute hand pointing at 12 means o'clock. So I know that could be a lot of different names to remember, okay? But 12 o'clock. Good. Then we go ahead, fill in our blank, what we're missing here. Good. Have it read 12 o'clock. Nice job. We even had that tricky 12 o'clock problem there. Let's keep going. We have just a few more problems to practice where we're still going to read first the short hour hand, read the hour song, and then the long minute hand. Remembering that when the long minute hand is pointing to 12, we read it as o'clock. Okay, we'll come back with a few more problems. Here we are with our last four problems. 
Hopefully we're becoming more and more confident or able to read hour or to the hour on analog clocks, okay? Let's go ahead and start with problem number nine, our last four problems. Hopefully you're able to see it up here. If not, we also have on the clock here. Let's start with which hand do we read first when reading the clock? The short hour hand or long minute hand? Which one do we read first? The short hour hand. Nice job, Kaylee. See, that's what you're saying at home? Great job. Keep doing your best to follow along, okay? So what hour is that short hour hand pointing to? Five. Five. Very good. It's five. Then what do we see when the long minute hand is pointing straight up to the twelve? Oh, clock. Good. Now put it together. It's five o'clock. Good. Then we are just filling in the blank on our problem right here. Five o'clock. Very good. Okay. Start looking at the next problem while I get all the clock ready for the next one. Okay, hopefully you're kind of able to see it on the screen. If not, we also have it here, problem 10. Again, which hand do we start with first when reading time? The short hour hand. Good, so let's look there first. What hour is that short hour hand pointing to? 10. Very good. Then what do we say when that minute hand is pointing straight up? Kuka. O'clock. I know, hopefully we said it enough, it's getting in our head. We put it together, we read it as 10 o'clock. If that's what you're reading and saying along at home too, you're doing great, okay? If not, just keep practicing with us. Remember, read the hour, 10, and whenever that long minute hand is pointing straight up, it's o'clock. So it's 10 o'clock. We'll go ahead, write it, fill in the blank, 10, kind of a funky 10, 10 <laughs> o'clock, <laughs> try it again, 10, better, 10 o'clock, I'm sure your writing will be that much better than me on this board, okay, nice job, now, Start looking at our second to last problem, number 11, while I get our practice clock ready. Okay, again, which hand do we read first when reading a clock? The short hour hand or long minute hand? What do we read first? The short hour hand, good. We read the hour, then the minute. Good, so looking at that short hour hand, what hour is the clock or the hour hand pointing to? Seven. Seven. Good. Then what do we say when the minute hand is pointing straight up? Okay. O'clock. Good. So let's put it together. We read it as seven o'clock. Okay. Good. Okay. It's just about time. You're going to have our last problem with lots of think time, okay? Before I just send you off on this last problem, remember, you read the short hour hand first. Read what hour it is, and then the long blue minute hand, when it's pointing straight up to the 12th, we say o'clock, okay? Maybe you can see it there. I'm also going to hold it up here. Do your best to read what time, what time to the hour is this analog clock saying. We're going to give you lots of think time. Okay, maybe that was enough time. If not, just go ahead and pause us. Yeah. Okay, let's double check your answer. Keep it in your head. 
like we've been practicing and talking about this whole lesson. When reading a clock, you start with the short hour hand. Kaylee, what hour is that short hand pointing to? Three. Three. Good. If that's what you said, yes, three. Yes. And then what do we say when that long minute hand is pointing straight up? What do we say? Oka. O'clock. Good. So we put it together to read three o'clock. And if that's what you said, you just correctly read an analog clock. Yay. Nice job. Maybe you still need a little bit of practice reading clock too. That's okay. Before you go get more practice, either by watching this lesson video again or trying your learning package, just remember, when reading the clock, first read the hour hand. What hour is it pointing to? Then remember, when that minute hand is pointing straight up, straight up to the 12, we say o'clock. So this, three o'clock. Any hour, you would read the hour, four, then no matter what, whenever that long minute hand is pointing straight up to the 12, you say o'clock. So hour, then o'clock, four o'clock. Okay, hope you just had some fun reading clocks. Keep an eye out for analog clocks around you in your house extra practice reading it try to read them at least read what the short hour hand is saying okay we're going to continue to learn so much more about time okay but keep up your good work just try your best and have a great rest of your remote learning day bye everyone Take care.